Hi, everybody. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to implement logic gates using NAND only logic. This is for Project Lead the Way Digital Electronics Activity 2.2.2 on NAND only logic. So I have an example circuit for you here. Uh, I'll just trust that you, you, you can trust me that this has been built correctly. It's A not C or B C. And what we've done in our class is we've actually set up a template with a bunch of the uh, you know typical components that we use. We have four switches up top, and we typically call these A, B, C, D, or maybe it's X, Y, Z, W, or whatever, but they're keyed in to use ASDF. Okay, so I can flip them easily by pressing my keyboard. I've got some probes over here of various colors. I have all the gates that I typically use. And now what we've done in this unit is we've gone through and we've included inverter and and or implementations using NAND gates. And we have those available to copy paste. So here's the easiest way that we've found to go through and implement logic using NAND only gates, okay? Is, well, first of all, just, just trust me again that this probe turns on when it's supposed to, okay? Um, what I'm going to do, since I already have it built, is whenever I have this built in AOI first, that's always your first step, you're gonna go through and we're gonna copy paste in and build the exact same circuit using only NAND logic. And it's gonna be really messy, but it'll clean up in a hurry, okay? So for instance, this is the inverter gate. So I'm just gonna copy, control C. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna paste it into about the same area. I'm gonna go here. This is the AND gate. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna paste it here. And then I also had an AND gate down here. So go ahead and paste that. And then I have an OR gate at the end. Here's the OR gate. I'm gonna go copy paste it. I also need a probe. Let's go ahead and use a green one, different color. And we'll put that in down below. And now it's a matter just of rewiring the circuit. So the NOT gate goes to A. So this goes back to my A. Notice everything's color coded. That makes it super easy to see. A goes into the AND where it combines with C. And then B, C get combined down here. Again, notice the color coding eliminates any guess as to which variable I'm going to, right? All red wires is tough to determine, but whenever you go through and color wires instead, it's easy to see that it's A, C, B, C, right? And then I come over here, I combine with the OR gate, and I output to my probe. Now, this looks messy, but the idea of NAND-only implementation is this. Up here in my original circuit, I have a chip for one inverter gate. I need an entire chip for one inverter. I'm using one-sixth of the chip. I have two AND gates, but that's one chip. You're using two of the four locations on that chip. And you have an entirely different chip for the single OR gate you have over here. So you're not being very effective. You're not utilizing the full chip in this case. You have three chips for four gates. Not very efficient at all. Okay. Down here, even though it looks messier, these are all NAND gates. And you can fit four of these on a chip. So I have one, two, three, four. There's a chip. One, two, three, four. There's a second chip. This is messier but it's two chips as opposed to three. So you just took out like whatever your production cost, if you're mass manufacturing this and you got to create like a million of them, you just took out a third of the hardware right there. That's pretty nice, okay? You're saving money, you're using less power. It's a pretty nice little circuit, okay? Even better is the fact that whenever I start to di really diagnose this circuit, I will notice, for instance, see these two NAND gates right here that I've got my box around, okay? take a look at those. We're taking the output of this NAND gate, we're running it through an inverter, and then we're running it directly into another inverter and out to something else, okay? There's no branches coming off of it. Like, this would be different if this wire went somewhere else and I used it somewhere. I'm not. It's literally just two inverters in a row and nothing else, okay? And notice, I'm not talking about this inver inverter and this inverter. It's not that I'm talking about. I'm talking about one goes into the other in a straight line with nothing else, no other branches. Well, here's the nice thing. I can go through and I can delete those. There's no need for it. I'm just going to run straight to the end, okay? I can do the same thing down here with these two. There's no need to have those. You have an inverter going directly into the other one. Let's delete it. Let's take this wire. Let's go directly to the end. Okay. And then we can simplify. Let's make this look nicer. Okay. 
Oof, I do not like how the at least be consistent multi-zim. There we go, right? I can take all of this and I can move it over. Let's make this thing look a heck of a lot nicer. Okay, look at this. You have the exact same circuit in the end. The lights are going to come on at exactly the same time as I go through and I flip on the different combinations, okay? They behave the same. The difference is this uses four gates. They are all NAND. They all fit on one chip. You now have taken two thirds of the production cost out, give or take. I mean, we're ballparking things here, but that is the idea behind NAND implementation. The one thing that I will tell you, though, from a teacher's standpoint, is do not skip this step where you go, oh, I can't undo enough. The step where you have the messy NAND circuit in between. That's the one that kids always want to mess or skip because they think they can go straight to the end. Their circuit doesn't work correctly, and then they whine about it. And they say, oh, man, I can't get this. I don't understand what I'm doing. It's No, it's because you're not taking your time, and you're not doing the messy NAND gate implementation before you try to simplify. But if you do that first, you will be fine. This is a fairly simple process. Hopefully that makes sense. If you got any questions, feel free to find me in class and ask them.